<laughs> four on the floor, brought to you by Citywide Banks. Four questions, we each get 20 seconds, and when you hear the bell, quiet. Okay. All right, first question. Does Tyrod Taylor's week one performance for the Buffalo Bills impress you? Yes, I'll take it. I'll take it first. I, Rex Ryan, that was a brilliant move. We think of him as a defensive coach. He, that was taking a chance when you've got a good defense to reach down to your third string quarterback who has not started in the NFL, hasn't started since college, and he has a very good performance and is going to, I think, now they, they've gotten rid of Castle, didn't they? Yeah, and they brought him back. Okay. They brought Castle back they did. at a lower fee, I think. Yes. Do I remember this correctly? Did Gary Kubiak had interest in Tyrod Taylor in Denver? Is that correct? I vaguely remember that. And so, yes, I was impressed. I had forgotten Tyrod Taylor. When we brought his name up when I was on the show a week or two ago, I thought he was an actor on Days of Our Lives or something. I'd never so, heard of him. So, so I was impressed. I didn't even know who he was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I actually thought he should have been their starting quarterback. I, even based though EJ, what? What did you say about you know, Based on what? You, you want strong I, I opinions from you, him. I love you, Rather than wait and see, your, he gave you one. Your scouting depth goes that deep? <laughs> yes. Although yes. EJ Manuel had a pretty good preseason, I thought Tyrod Taylor deserved the, the uh, shot. And I was extremely impressed. He, he he makes plays with his legs. He was threw extremely Where, accurately. You, you don't like college football. And he out Andrew Luck. Where did you ever see him? I saw him, I watched him in the preseason a little bit. Really? I was very impressed, yeah. And I didn't like E.J. Manuel, despite the fact that he had a Where nice preseason. Where did he preseason. play college football? I have no Virginia idea. Tech. Virginia Tech, I knew that. I know he was a 6th or 7th round He was draft. the Michael was Vick, right? the Michael Vick 2.0. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. All right, question number two. Uh, Sports Illustrated featured the Broncos pass rushers this week. Should they have highlighted maybe somebody else along with the Broncos pass rushers? Is there a player or a unit? Oh well, I, 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 rather than the pass rushers, I think actually the cornerbacks are more interesting. I mean, I, nothing against those four pass rushers; they're all great. But um, Chris Harris and, and Akib Talib were the stars of that game, as far as I was concerned. Talib, without Talib, Broncos lose their home opener. Well, don't leave out Bradley Roby. No, I won't. Uh, Roby had that almost tip. Uh, he and I and Chris Harris debated whether he touched the ball over the corner, and he said he said he did. And he said, and Chris Harris said one of the great lines of all time: "Don't be lying." Uh, <laughs> it, it was hard to tell from the replay, but he might have. He might have gotten a finger. He about said, that change he it said just he a changed, little bit. Uh, yeah, there yeah. was debate among somebody you. who's well, watched I, the tape extensively said he indeed indeed tipped it. Yeah, barely got. He's an it. honest kid. Yeah, he, he's been. Okay, awesome I'm going to give you a name. If you if you're not well, you guys are familiar with this name. But if anybody around the rest of the country is not familiar with this name, they will be at the end of the year, because he's going to make the Pro Bowl. Brandon Marshall, linebacker. Well, he almost made it last year. Almost. Yeah, the way he was going. But a lot of people, when they hear Brandon Marshall, they don't think this Brandon Marshall. They think the other Brandon Marshall. They're going to remember this guy. At the uh, end of the year. I I think Shaquille Barrett should get in the game more. <laughs> and he will. He'll get plenty of playing time. Is Notre Dame doomed with the loss of starting quarterback Malik Zaire? Are you trying to bump? I'm going first. Okay. I'm going first. Out of your the real way. No, they're not doomed. First of all, they have a very highly recruited backup quarterback. He's going to play. <laughs> and and we saw Ohio State win with a third string quarterback oh, last year. Plus okay. Notre Dame. Notre Dame has a very tough schedule. They've got a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. I'm the college expert here, and I'm telling you, Notre Dame is going to make the Final Four. Go, since you love the Golden Domers. I, as, a, as a young man born in South Bend, and Notre Dame football is the only part of my fandom I keep alive. Uh, my daughter, who knows and has seen me yell at the television during Notre Dame games, just like any other fan, uh, texts me because she was concerned about her dear old dad last Saturday saying, Dad, did you survive the roller coaster ride Notre Dame had at Virginia? Hope you did. And I text her back and I said, I survived, but Notre Dame's quarterback did not and the season is over. They claim and uh, ESPN Grantland had written a piece about the backup quarterback. <clears throat> I think based on what I just saw, after reading this week that they're still going to make the playoff despite that. Well, mm. I don't think the NCAA, no matter how it tries over the years with all the rules that are set up just for Notre Dame, because as long as they stay independent, they're like outside the rules. Guess what? 
you golden domers, it's golden doomers. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. That hurt. He's forgotten about his gout. You got now me he right just has in the a, gout. Now he just has a pain in the heart. Uh. All right, final four, or final um, four on the floor question. Billy Joel's playing at Pepsi Center tonight. You wear that? No. Billy Joel or Elton John? Take it there, big timer. Billy Joel. Billy Joel, look, they're both legendary songwriters, wonderful singers, incredible musicians, um, legendary in every way. And, and went on tour together for, for quite a long time. But Billy Joel, if you want to rock out, I like Billy Joel to rock out more than I like Elton John. This is the biggest mismatch in the history of music. Billy Joel should have never sang anywhere except somebody's pizza parlor. Oh. <laughs> Elton oh. John by about 5,000 songs. Why? Because... He, he can sing, he can perform, and he can write. Have you ever Billy seen Billy Joel, Joel in Billy Joel can't sing, perform, or write. Wow. He married a, he married a supermodel once. I'll give him that. Other than that, the only thing Billy Joel hack. can't do is stay married and sober. Hack, hack, Billy Joel, hack. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna break the tie here. <laughs> uh oh, here it comes. When he married the supermodel, and you go, how did she end up with him? Well. Someone has dumped her in her life. Someone has dumped her. Oh, that's almost like an Elton John song, isn't it? Someone's going to lose Someone a fight. Someone saved my life tonight. Yes. That's uh, Elton John. <laughs> Someone dumped my wife tonight. <laughs> no, no. Elton Someone jo dumped Billy my Joel, wife tonight. Billy Joel is to Elton John as Kiss is to the Beatles. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Elton John is well, one of the greatest will, songwriters, singers, not? piano players of all time. You just described Billy Joel. No, I didn't. I'm describing <laughs> Elton John. It must be, gosh, it must be tough to be wrong all I, the well, time. Boys, <laughs> let me tell you. I wouldn't go I see will Billy not be Joel. inviting you you're going to, to the concert oh, tonight. Oh, you're going tonight. Oh, you're We're going to the I, courtyard I, in Kansas I'm City. Trying, we got better plans. I'm, I'm trying, to, trying get, to sneak in tonight. Is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> well, let me help you out. This yeah. will help you out. If Billy Joel, you know somebody? That'll was, help me if Billy Joel was playing at the back of the studio, I would stay up here. I would go back to the back of the studio. <laughs> wow. wow.